in. Open D again. So open D is, um, you bring the E string, the low E string, down to D. Keep the A at A. Keep the D at D. Bring the G down a half step to F sharp. Bring the B down a whole step to A. And bring the high E down a whole step to D. You get that nice chord. Um, on the record, it sounds like a nylon string guitar that's playing this part, um, and possibly then being played with a um, thumb, which is also a nice, nice way to play it. I almost did it like that. Maybe I should have, but um, I don't know. I like playing with a pick. Um, and um, live, she plays it on electric with a pick, so. Um, so there's nothing wrong. You could do it however you want, I think. Um, okay, so uh, the intro is just two bars of this chord, the open chord. Um, the kind of strumming pattern that I, you know, landed on from what's on the record, it's, it's sort of a... going down up down up down up down up all the time but there's kind of a emphasis on the lower strings and then an emphasis on the higher strings which sort of like low 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 high 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 So you find something you like, but you know, it also work with whatever, whatever strumming pattern that's in that tempo and that range. But yeah, that is kind of. Like... So then the verse starts, and the verse goes from this. I'm counting it like this. The second chord is, is it's a G. Um, she might even be playing it with just one note, just the fifth fret on the low E string. I was playing it with the fifth fret on the low string and the fifth fret on the A. So it's this chord, and then you strum everything. It doesn't matter that much which one of these you do. So you go back and forth between those two twice, uh, four beats on each two. down one fret makes it into this weird F sharp kind of chord so now my I'm using my second finger my third finger you could use your first and second or whatever but I'm using my second finger on the now the fourth fret of the low E and my third finger on the fourth fret of the A it's that for a, a measure and then back up So that's the verse. Um, the first verse repeats, so it does that whole thing again. The second verse is just one one time through. And then there's the weird last sort of verse, which I'll go over in a bit. But first, let's do the chorus. Um, so the chorus goes up to this chord. This is like an A. Um, I think it's being played like this. Second finger on the seventh fret of the low E, third finger on the seventh fret of the A, and pinky on the seventh fret of the G. And then you can strum everything, I'm kind of muting this note, the D, D chord. Um, so this is, you know. Okay, so you have this chord, four beats. And just take this shape down two frets so it becomes a G. Um, so now my second finger is on the fifth fret of the low E, my third finger is on the fifth fret of the A, and my pinky is on the fifth fret of the G. So you have this G, 
crucial notes is very similar to this. I just I added this note. I hear that note in there sometimes. Um, sometimes in the verse too. Like actually, when I perform, when I did it just now, I, I played this chord for the G in the second verse because I kind of heard that note in there. But obviously, these are, you know, interchangeable. This and this. Um, but in the chorus, I would play this one. Now everything open for the D. Then back up to that G. So the fifth fret one. Back up to the A, seventh fret one. Back down to the G. So we sweat it out. New chord. This is just second finger on the second fret of the low E, third finger on the second fret of the A. And everything else open. to the G, either, either this version, yeah, you could totally do that, or you could do the version with the pinky, and then it goes to the D for a measure before it goes back into the verse, so that's the chorus. Okay, so the bridge, um, uh, this chord, which is like a form of a B minor, so it's the first finger on the second fret of the A string, and the the strumming becomes more just like down, 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 down. So it's like you know that kind of thing. So you can ditch the and just go to down. Now just move this first finger up two frets. Comes this weird chord. So one. Now up to the fourth fret on the A string. Now up to the fifth fret. And the serendipity, right? And then on the string. And then you go to that A chord. Second finger on the seventh fret of the low E. Third finger on the seventh fret of the A. Pinky on the seventh fret of the G. Scream. Then it's it's a chorus really, but with um, a different chord as the first chord of the chorus. So the chorus normally starts on the A. Now it's going to start on. This B minor now. First finger on the eighth fret of the G, second finger on the ninth fret of the low E, and third finger on the ninth fret of the A. And now you can go back into your strumming you were doing before. And then it goes to the G. And from that point, it's just like any other um, chorus. So it'll go, it'll start on the B minor, but then it'll go G, D, G. last verse which is sort of like you could also sort of call it an outro because it's like the ending so um uh, it starts like any other verse so d and then g this is the one that's what, that's what i confused before when i said oh it's two times three times in the other verses but in this one it's just two times of d to g it's gonna go to A. Okay, so this is same A as before, so seventh fret. Second finger on the seventh fret of the low E, third finger on the seventh fret of the A, pinky on the seventh fret of the G. Um, then down to that E minor, second finger on the second fret of the low E, third finger on the second fret of the um, A. Now move this up sharp um, yeah so fourth fret on the low E fourth fret on the A and then G again maybe I would do the version without the pinky to just the fifth fret on the low E and the A and this one that just sort of goes a bar one two three four and then you can just kind of let it trail off and that's how the song ends um, all right. Did I get everything? I think so. Okay, let me know if I forgot anything, or if you have any questions or comments or requests. And as usual, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.